Hello and welcome to a new series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to create network diagrams. Now a network diagram is essentially a way of showing relationships with each other and you can create some really nice chains using this graph. And let, let me show you a few examples. So in this one here we've got an example of Twitter sort of social media communities within Twitter and you can see here that it looks really nice. You can also see quite clearly which one are the bigger ones and they've got some good labeling going on. And this is essentially what a network graph is. So you can follow one sort of from one place all the way along a chain to another place. And that's what we'll be creating in this series. Another example is with here, we've got Walmart. It's a bit blurry, so I apologize, but it's showing the sort of social influences of Walmart compared to other competitors. And so again, this is a network graph done differently, but essentially it's something that can be created in this series and using the techniques that I will be showing you in this series. Okay, so let's start with the basics though. Let's start by creating, explaining what it is and how to create it using Python. So the first thing you need to do is you're gonna to need to install a module called Network X. And Network X is our main module for this series. And you may need to do a pip install Network X to get it into your Python shell. But once you've done that, restart your Python shell and then import Network X. And in this case, I've given it an alias of NX. So wherever NX appears in this code, it is called, it's referring to the network X module. The next thing I've done is I've imported my good old friend matplotlib.pyplot as PLT because I'll be using that in this tutorial to do some graphing. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you, explain to you is that these graphs, these network graphs, consists of nodes and edges. So if we go back to the one on social media communities, you can see here that you have lots of dots of different sizes and you have lines. So these dots are nodes. So each dot is a node. And each line that connects these nodes together are edges. And that's very important to understand because that is the, the real basic sort of backbone of these network graphs. So we're gonna start by creating our sort of registering our graph and then we're gonna add just maybe one or two nodes um, and then adding a sort of an edge. And then we're gonna build upon that. So the first thing we need to do is create sort of like a, a blank graph, similar to what you do in creating sort of TK into modules where you create sort of a blank screen and then you sort of populate it. Exactly what we're gonna be doing here. So I've done that, but if you type in nx.graph, nx.graph with a capital G, you'll be creating sort of a blank graph there and I've given it the alias of nxg. So nxg is our nx graph. And so the first thing we're gonna be doing is adding our first node. So what I like to do is I like to then go down to the bottom and then draw, add in the draw and then the saving of the graph because then we can quickly upload it and wherever we run the module, it will just update and save the file over the existing file name and we can see where we've got up to. And if there are any mistakes, it can be seen quite clearly. So how I do that is I type in nx.draw and then in brackets of draw, I type in nxg. So nx.draw and then in brackets nxg, that will draw the graph. And the next thing we need to do is we need to, we're gonna save this graph as a file name in our sort of wherever our shell is reading from. So let me just, when you can do that by calling our good old friend matplotlib or plt, dot save fig and then in the save fig you give it a file name and extension so let's call it network graph part one dot png and this will 
save it over it every time and we can now have something we can refer to, something physical we can refer to every time. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create our first node. And we can do that by using the function nxg add node. So what this does is this we're calling our graph nxg and then within the graph we're going to add node by typing in the function add underscore node and then within the brackets we type in one so that will create our first node so if we run it we will see that we have indeed done that and saved it as a file here in that graph part one we've created our first node here so the next thing we're going to be doing is we will create our second a second node and then we will join them up with an edge so if we go into our add node function and type in two instead of one and then if we go down and we can add our edge on a new line so if we type in nxg calling our graph again and instead of calling add node we're going to call add edge so if we type nsg underscore add edge and then in brackets what you need to do is you need to specify where the edge is going from and to so in this case we're going to have the edge going from our first node into our second node so we should so in this case we're going to create one line between our two nodes so if you run that now and then we press any key to continue and then we can go into our page we can see here now that we've created two nodes with a line joining them in between and that's pretty awesome so now we're beginning to understand nodes and edges we can actually let's do our next step is to create a shape let's create a shape so what we can do is let's create a triangle so we've got three nodes and we're just going to do that through the use of edges so what we can do is we can add an edge between our first node and our second node like we did above here then we can also create an edge a line in this case between our first node and our third node and then an edge between our second node and our third node so basically we have a line going connecting all three together like a triangle and then if we run that we can actually create a sort of triangle of nodes so if we run that now here see we have a sort of triangle of nodes going on here So that's the very start of creating graphs like this. But before we finish off with this part, let me let me um, show you something that looks a bit more like what you would expect with these sort of network graphs. So let's there now. So now what we can do is let's create many nodes, and we're going to do this by creating a list this time, not just specifying add node. And we're going to firstly create many nodes and then we're going to have a many node list here so 1 to 10 so we've got our 10 nodes in this node list and then we're going to type in the function add nodes from instead of just doing add nodes we did above here we can type in nxg dot add nodes from so adding the from and then the no the s on the nodes add node s from and then brackets we call the list so this will add this list of nodes to our graph and then what we can do next is we can create a sort of edge list that will put everything out in sort of like a star sort of shape like you would expect in a network graph everything coming from like a central central point or something like that or you specify a point and you have sort of the, the number of followers going along in a chain beyond that if you're doing something like social media and what we can do with these edges is remember it's, a, it's two two points for each edge this time so if we want everything coming out in like a star shape in this case in this case we're going to have everything coming out from the first node what we can do is we can have an edge going starting at one and then going to two and then one to three and then one to four and so on and so forth all the way to ten and we can create a list of that like we've done here and then what we can do is we can use the add edges from instead of saying add edge we can do add edges from similar to the add nodes and then we can call our list in brackets an edge edge list which is our list here and then we can run it 
and we can create sort of a really cool sort of star shape here like we have here so this is now beginning to look a bit more like what you would expect to see in a network graph so i hope you've enjoyed that sort of introduction to that um to creating node graphs that's just part one in part two we'll take this up to the next level and we'll add maybe labels maybe some coloring or maybe even add a few extra layers branching out of that star that we've created so we can do so many things with this this is why i thought it'd be great to create a series so please do check out this channel please do check out other videos as well i've shown you how to create powerpoint presentations how to sort of use graphic user interfaces and TK into modules and so on and so forth. Please do subscribe and then also share it to someone who you feel may benefit from it. Thank you very much for watching.